It was a close call. Thousands of volunteer firefighters could have had to pay towards their fire insurance. Yeah, but Christina Papa explains thanks to that, a local congressman has changed all that. He doesn't have reason to be worried anymore. It's a big uh, relief for volunteer services throughout the, uh, the country. It's something of a glitch in the Affordable Care Act that could have ended up impacting public safety, particularly the firefighters who protect us, like Fire Chief Dennis Gantz. If that would have gone through and we would have had to pay and it could have created a, a financial nightmare for us. Gantz is one of the thousands of unpaid volunteer firefighters in Pennsylvania. Currently under the External Revenue Services, Dennis is considered an employee of the fire station for federal tax purposes, even though he doesn't get benefits or health insurance. That's where the confusion stemmed from. The language was already there that that stated that volunteer firefighters are indeed employees. Barletta was worried that under the Affordable Care Act, the station would have to pay for their volunteer firefighters' health care or get fined if they didn't. But thanks to some poking and questioning, the IRS gave up some answers. Very happy that uh, we've gotten the result that we were looking for. On Friday, the IRS wrote the employer shared responsibility generally will not require volunteer hours of bona fide volunteer firefighters and volunteer emergency medical personnel at governmental or tax exempt organizations to be counted when determining full time employees. So the idea has been addressed, but it's not quite behind these fire trucks just yet. That's why Lou Barletta is still pushing his bill. He's trying to pass it so the ideas are set in stone and can never be changed. Barletta introduced House Resolution 3. 685, the Protecting Volunteer Firefighters and Emergency Responders Act. Under this, volunteer firefighters and volunteer emergency medical technicians would be exempt from paying health insurance under the Affordable Health Care Act. Gann says he hopes Barletta's plan does go through, but as for right now, he's glad he doesn't have to pay more than he has to. Christina Papa, News 13, Greater Hazleton.